Hi everybody, once again I welcome all of you to my channel and today in this video we are going to discuss about different database category provided by GCP that is Cloud SQL, Cloud Spanner, Bigtable or BigQuery. So guys, as all of you know that I am making a playlist which will help you to clear Google Cloud associate exam very easily. Motive of this playlist is to present concepts in such a way so that it helps you in clearing the exam with minimal effort and minimal time. So guys, as all of you know that usually what we do is first we will discuss the theory part. After that, we will solve some questions based on that. And at the end of the playlist, we will do a practical after completing all the concepts of GCP Cloud Associate exam. So guys, let's start our video. As all of you know that there are two kinds of databases. One is relational and other is non-relational databases that is NoSQL databases. So guys, you have to remember this category very carefully because in exam, they are directly going to ask questions based on this. So in relational databases, we have Cloud SQL, Cloud Spanner and Cloud BigQuery. And in non-relational databases, we have Cloud Data Store and Cloud Bigtable. So let's discuss about them in upcoming slides. So guys, first we will discuss about Cloud SQL and Cloud Spanner. Like what is the difference between them? Because this question is very common in GCP exam. So guys, you should use Cloud Spanner when you have large global requirement for databases. And you should go for Cloud SQL databases when you have use case for a small local databases. So when you should go for global, then in that case you should go for a Cloud Spanner. But when there is need for regional small scale databases, then in that case you should go for Cloud SQL. Now the next difference is regarding horizontally reading and writing replicas. So you can horizontally read replicas in both the databases, but you can horizontally write replicas only in Cloud Spanner. So what it means is you can read parallelly from Cloud SQL, but you cannot write parallelly in Cloud SQL, but you can do the same thing with Cloud Spanner. Now in Cloud SQL, they have given one command line called gcloud. So whenever you want to create databases or perform any kind of SQL operations, so in that case you should use gcloud. So let's suppose you want to create a database in gcloud. So in that case, you should use gcloud SQL databases create database instance instance name. Okay. Now let's go to the BigQuery. So in BigQuery, it's like a data warehouse and it is used for analytics purposes. And when you have petabytes of data and you want to analyze this data, like what are the analytics of this data? So in that case, you should go for BigQuery. And for BigQuery, the command line is BQ. With the help of BQ command, you can create, delete and perform whatever operation you would like to do with the help of this BQ command. I would like to request everybody to please stay in this video till last because at the end of this video, I will discuss few questions that have been asked in previous GCP exam and I am 100% sure that you all will solve those questions very easily. Now let's move to the non-relational databases. You can see here, we have two types of databases here. One is Cloud Data Store and the other is Cloud Big Table. So when you should go for Cloud Data Store and when you should go for Cloud Big Table. So you should go for Cloud Data Store when you have requirement for non-relational DB with less storage. You should go for Cloud Big Table when you have non-relational DB with requirement of petabytes of storage for storing time series data for storing huge volumes of stream data from IoT devices. Okay. For a smaller databases, you should go for cloud store. For storing petabytes of data, you should go for cloud big table. Okay. And the last category is in memory databases. And this is cloud mem store. This is used for caching purposes like Redis caching. So when there is use case for caching purposes, you should use for cloud mem store. Now let's solve some of the questions asked. So you can see here the first question is your team is developing a product catalog that allows end users to search and filter. The full catalog products consist of 500 products. The team doesn't have any experience with SQL. So what it means? It means that they are looking for non-SQL databases. So here you should classify which are non-SQL and which are SQL databases. As you can see here, Cloud SQL is SQL database. Cloud Memory Store is in-memory database. So these two options are non-SQL databases. But you can see here, they're only concerned about 500 products. It means they need a small scale database. So you should go for cloud data store. Okay. I hope you got my point. Now let's move to the next question. You can see here, you are building an application that stores relational data from users. Users along the globe will be using this application. 
you are not required to read all the sentences even because they are already saying that they want relational database so which among the following is relational database as you can see here cloud data store is non relational database cloud sql is relational database cloud fire store is advanced version of cloud data store so among these only two are relational database but they are also saying that users along the globe so what i have told is whenever there is need for global databases which can store huge amount of data in relational system then in that case you should go for cloud spanner so the answer will be cloud spanner not cloud sql okay now let's move to the next question you can see here the question is your app engine application needs to store stateful data in proper storage service your data is non relational database you do not expect your data to be beyond 10 gb so there are two restrictions the first one is non relational database and the second is it should not go beyond 10 gb so obviously they are looking for non relational database with a smaller storage so this is the answer for cloud data store because cloud big table stores petabytes of data okay now let's move to the next question and you can see here your company is planning the infrastructure for a new large scale application just focus on this point new large scale application that will need to store 100 tb petabytes of data in no sql format so in that case you should go for cloud big table because cloud big table stores data in petabytes cloud data store is also no sql database but it is used for a smaller scale databases okay so guys i have tried my best to give all the inputs to you regarding cloud sql cloud spanner cloud database cloud big table cloud big query okay so guys please like this video and subscribe the channel for getting more updates regarding this and i will request everybody to watch all the previous video that i have published